Right, let's get started with our warm up. We're coming up to standing. Good job. So feet to hip distance to start with. So bring them together, turn the toes out, turn the heels out to match. Knees nice and soft. Lifting the toes, then lifting the heels and rocking backwards and forwards to find that centre point. And finding it there. Lovely. Relax here. Take the shoulders, roll them up, slide the shoulder blades down the back, shake the arms out to keep them down. Imagine that piece of string pulling and lengthening through the top of the head, extending the neck nice and tall. Good job. Let's take the ear to the shoulder and stretch out the neck. Back to centre and over to the other side. Back to centre, drop the chin to the chest. Enjoy the stretch up the back of the neck. Back to centre and just push the chin upwards just far enough to stretch through the front of the neck. And back to centre. Good job. We're just going to set ourselves up. So one hand on the tummy, one hand on the lower back. Shoulders relaxed, nice and down. So just the pelvis. Tuck the tailbone under, pull the pelvis forward, tuck it back and roll it back. So imagine that the hips are a bowl of water, tuck the tailbone under, let the water pour out of the back, stick the tailbone up, let the water pour out of the front. Continue that motion as we wake up that lower spine. Get those hips moving. Slow it down, make the distance smaller until finally we want that bowl of water to be level and still. Tailbone heading down, top of the hips horizontal and the lower spine back into neutral. Hold it there. Good job. We're going to switch on the abdominals now. Draw the belly button into the spine. Imagine that lovely wide belt. Pull it all the way to notch number 10. So just draw that belly button in as tight as you can. Squeeze and hold. Try and focus on just drawing in the front of the body. Try and relax the glutes at the back. Just hold it there and breathe. And relax. Notch number five on the belt now. Squeeze and hold just halfway. And relax and finally notch number three on the belt. A gentle squeeze and hold it there. Now we're going to bring the pelvic floor in as well. Squeeze and lift the pelvic floor. Imagine it's an elevator. Take it all the way up to level 10 and hold it there. And relax. Level five, squeeze and hold. And relax. And finally, level three, a gentle squeeze of the pelvic floor, gentle drawing into the belly button. That's those core muscles engaged. That's what we want to do each time as we're exercising. Just draw the belly button in, draw the pelvic floor, try and hold them throughout the exercise. Good job. Let's get warmed up now. Bringing the arms up as we take a breath in and out as the arms come down. So we breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, soften the knees and again. Last one here. Now we go into our side bend. Bring one hand up and over. Stretch. Top hand reaching over, bottom hand reaching down. Hold it there. Then release, extend, stand nice and tall in the middle and over to the other side. Stretch and reach. Lovely twist of the spine here as we bend over. Stretch and reach. Last one on this side. Stretch and reach. And release. From here, bring the hands onto the shoulders and use them to relax the shoulders. Bring the shoulders down. Relax here. 
and circles. So we start nice and small, work with just the shoulders to start with. Nice and slow, waking up those shoulder joints. And then we bring the arms in as we circle a little bit bigger. Growing those circles, but keep it nice and slow and steady. Last one here, bring it back to centre and the other way, start nice and small. And then grow, gently increasing the circles. Make sure both the arms are working together at the same time. Good job, hold it here. Extend the elbows out. Again, make sure the shoulders are relaxed, the neck is relaxed, and we're gonna go into our spine twist. Keep the hips facing forward. Don't let the hips twist with you. They stay glued, it's just the upper body. So breath in, engage, exhale, and spine twist. As far as you can, inhale, exhale back to center. Inhale to prepare, exhale to twist. Inhale here, exhale back to center. One more on each side. Inhale, exhale to twist. So use those hips as an anchor to twist away from. Keep them facing forward. Last one here, back to center and relax down. Link the fingers together and stretch and reach forward. Bring the ankle up. Open up through those shoulder blades, reaching the hands as far forward as you can. Then bring them up above you, stretch and reach. Then relax down. As we bring the hands down, they're going to come behind us and they're going to pulse twice. One, two. As they come forward, turn the head to the opposite direction. One, two. Look over the other shoulder. Twist. One, two. Forward. One, two. Look over the shoulder. Continue here. Waking up the shoulder joints, waking up the neck. Keep it flowing nicely. One more here. And relax. Good job. So we're going to wake the legs up now. I'm just going to take the angle down to the feet. And we're just going to walk it out to start with. So we're just going to step and walk it out. Bring the hands to the hips. Waking up those toes and ankles and knees through to the hips. And then we're going to step across, one toe on top of the other. Step across, step across. Now if balance is a bit of a challenge for you at all, then release the hands and use them to the side of the body to help you here. And we're going to slow it down as we move to challenge ourselves a little bit more with the balance element. So make sure the core is engaged, that belly button's just gently drawn into level three, the pelvic floor is gently squeezed to level three. Keep an eye on something in the distance that isn't moving too much. Slow it right down. And finally, find that balance, keep the supporting knees soft, place a foot on top and try and hold that balance. If you find you are wobbling, you need to come off and come back again. Just reset yourself, keep trying. Lift that top foot away, if you can, and hold it there. And place that one down and transfer the weight and place the other foot on top. 
hold the balance. Then if you want to take it up, then bring the other knee up and hold it there. And relax down, good job, well done. So we're gonna move straight into our roll-ups today. So we're gonna work on a roll-up into a push-up, okay? But we'll focus on the roll-ups first. So coming to the end of your mat, feet come to hip distance. If you're ever not sure, feet together, toes out, heels out to match. Okay, knees nice and soft. Core engaged, inhale, exhale, drop the chin to the chest, roll the shoulders forward, and gently and slowly roll down. Let the hands just hang freely, let the head just, neck just relax and hang as well. We want to use the weight of the arms, the weight of the head, to stretch and open up through the spine. Keep a gentle bend in the knees. Just hang here for a moment to enjoy the stretch at the back of the legs. Then when you're ready, breath in, engage, exhale, roll back up, take your time. Imagine your Spine is building blocks, the vertebrae, replace one at a time, one on top of each other, as you restack the spine. All the way up, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen the neck up and away. And again, when you're ready, breath in, engage, exhale, chin to the chest, roll the shoulders forward, knees soft and roll down nice and gently. Just start everything up. Just bring it down as far as you're comfortable. If you're happy here, then just hold it here. Hang out here. Enjoy the stretch and mobilizing of that spine. Then when you're ready, breath in, engage, exhale, and slowly roll back up. Roll the shoulders back and down. And again, breath in, engage, chin to the chest, shoulders roll forward. Arms hang freely, head hangs freely. Allow them to stretch and open up the muscles in between each vertebrae. This time when we're down, we're gonna walk the hands forward. So we bring the hands to the mat to walk forward. We bring the knees down, bring them to hip distance. Release the toes, come into our box position. So the wrists are directly underneath the shoulders. The back is nice and flat, don't let it sag down here or arch up here, lengthen through, engage the core to support it, keep the back nice and flat. And the elbows are coming out to the side as we move into a push-up. Keep the back nice and flat and support it. Bring it down just as far as you can, that you know you can control it down, and back up again. And again, relax through the shoulders, relax through the neck. Let the arms do the work, let the core do the support. Then we're going to tuck the toes under, we're going to walk the hands back and we're going to go back into our roll up. Engage, roll the knees back, uncurl, come back to that start position, then take a breath in, engage, roll back up. Shoulders back and down at the end, neck nice and lengthened. Last one here, breath in, engage, chin to the chest, shoulders roll forward. Walk the hands forward, bring the knees down, keep them at hip distance, walk the hands forward. Release the toes, square, support the back, engage in that core before you go into that push-up. Two more here and then we're done. And then just bring it back to child's pose. So toes together, take the knees as wide as they'll go. Sit back first before you lie down and forward and relax here. Good 
job. When you're ready, coming straight down on your tummies, ready for the one leg kick. So now we're going to work on strengthening those hip flexor muscles in here, and we're going to work on the hamstrings and the shoulders, get a bit of a bonus workout as well. So to start with, we get to chill out, relax a little bit. So we bring the hands underneath the head. We bring the head down onto the hands. So to start with, we're just going to build a little bit of muscle memory. Just going to teach the legs what they need to do here. Extend them nice and long, straight from the hips. Then we're going to take a breath in, engage the core, and then we're just gently going to bring up the foot. Pulse, one, two, and release in a nice straight line. Nice and straight up to the bottom. One, two, nice and straight away. And again, up, squeeze, squeeze, and control it going down. Don't just let the foot fall. Bring it up, pulse, pulse, and relax. That's it. Okay, that's the easy bit. So coming up with the upper body now, raise the chest up. We're going to place the elbows directly underneath the shoulders here. The forearms are nice and straight. Use the edge of the mat as a ruler. Thumbs are pointing up. Neck is in a nice straight line with the spine. So from here, what we need to do is to lift the hips and tilt them so we get a nice straight back. So we take a breath in, we lift the hips, but we keep the pubic bone pointing down towards the mat and we hold it here. Now just holding the hips in this position might be enough, okay? It's tough, breathe through. Hold it if you can. If you need to come down and then reset and have another go, then do. If you can hold it here and you want a little bit more of a challenge, then bring the leg kick in. Pulse, pulse, and then slowly extend and release. And again, pulse, pulse, release. So ideally the hips stay up throughout, but find the level that works for you. Okay, you can do one on either side, then you could bring the hips down and relax for a moment if you want, or you can keep working through, it's entirely up to you. Use the breath. Inhale, exhale. Keep that belly button drawn into the spine to hold those hips up. Last one on each side, come down if you need to though. And relax wherever you're at. Bring the hands down and turn the head to one side. Gently turn the toes in towards each other to relax the legs and the hips as well. And just relax here, well done. Just relax down there. Gently turn the head to the other side on the hands just to relax there. Good job. Okay, so we're just gonna build on that exercise a little bit more now, and we're gonna work through the leg pull prone. So we've got a similar start position. So we've got head and chest raised, elbows directly underneath the shoulders, forearms nice and straight. We're gonna need them to take some of the weight. Here, we're gonna take a breath in. We're gonna lift from the waist here. So I want you to imagine that there's a belt around your middle, a sling around where your waistband of your trousers is, and that's where I want you to lift. So don't lift with the hips and bottom, otherwise they'll come up first. Lift with the hips to get that nice straight line. So we're gonna take a breath in, engage, lift and extend. So we're coming much higher now. We're coming onto the knees. Means we can spread the load between the knees and the forearms. Eyes look down towards the mat. Extend from the top of the head, extend it to the wall in front of you. Push the hips towards the wall behind you. Hold it if you can. Again, if you can't, then lower it down. Relax there for a moment. And then when you're ready, again, breath in, 
engage, lift from that waistband, keep that nice flat back. Hold it there if you can. Breathe. Some big old exercises. Find your way. Bring it down. If you've got it and you want to use it, we'll go one more time. Breath in, engage, lift, and hold if you can. <clears throat> Last one, five, four, three, two, one, lower and relax. Woo. Stay there and relax it out. So you can feel the benefit of the leg pull prone. It's a full body workout right the way from the knees in this case, all the way through to the chest and neck, okay? You're lifting and using that body weight to strengthen the core, strengthen the lower back. Good job. Okay. From here, we're gonna relax the abs a little bit. Give them a little break. And we're gonna focus on the legs. And we're gonna work on the side muscles here, the obliques on the waistline here. So rolling onto your side, we're gonna work on our side kicks. Make yourself really nice and long. So again, use the front of the mat as the ruler to make sure that your legs are in a straight line and your upper body is in a straight line. Relax onto this top arm. Place the top hand down onto the mat to help you to hold that balance. So I want the feet to be stacked, the knees to be stacked, the hips to be stacked directly, one on top of the other so that you're balanced, you're just on that hip bone. So you would roll back or roll forward. You use that hand to hold that balanced position. Okay, so from here, the most important part of this exercise to get the most benefit is this waist, okay? Is these oblique muscles down the side of the waist. We want to lift and engage them while we're working the leg. So we do that by taking breath in, draw the belly button in, and then draw the waist up. Place an imaginary grape underneath that waist. Hold it there, relax this top shoulder. Just hold that waist as we lift and lengthen that top leg just to hip height. And just hold it there for a minute. Hold that waist in, hold that leg. Then when you're ready, lower the top leg just to hovering above the bottom leg and then lift again. Now again, if you do find you need to lower and relax in between each move and then engage and lift and go again, then you can. If you've got some core strength there already, then you might find you can stay engaged, you can stay lifted and you can just hover the foot one above the other. Just to hip height. Raise, keeping it engaged as we lower. So we control the lift and we squeeze and control the lower as well. Keep going. This time we're going to lift and hold together. So we're going to lift and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lower. Okay, then bend the knees forward and curl the upper body down and relax here. Good job, well done. From here, we're gonna roll straight onto your back. So we're gonna work on the double leg lift before we work on the side kick on the other side. So we're coming over onto our backs. That means we relax the shoulder blades down underneath us, relax the arms nice and long. Feet go to hip distance again, same principle. Feet together, turn the toes out, turn the heels out to match that hip distance stance. Relax here. Okay, 
Very important, when we're doing leg lifts is to make sure that that spine stays in neutral. So, let's set it up first. Make a diamond shape with your hands. Put the thumbs in the belly button, the fingers on the pubic bone. I'm gonna place an imaginary marble in the middle of each of your diamonds on your tummy. I want you to use the hips to roll that diamond up and down. Just the hips, roll the marble up and down the tummy. Feel the spine pushing down into the mat and arching up and away. And then you want you to slow it down so that marble starts to slow towards the center of the diamond. Finally, I want you to stop with the marble in the middle of the diamond. The spine should be halfway between flat on the mat and fully arched. There should just be a gentle curve in the lower spine. That's your neutral spine. It's really important to keep the spine in that position when we're using our leg lifts, okay? So don't let the spine just relax down into the mat or push into the mat. Keep it, the core engaged around it to hold that position. So we take a breath in, we draw in the belly button and the pelvic floor to hold that lower back position. Then we bring one leg up to right angled knee. So the knee is directly above the hip, the shin is parallel with the ceiling, and the foot is relaxed and we hold it there. Now just a single leg lift might be enough. If you want more of a challenge, then come with me in the double leg lift. Now to make the move to the double leg, squeeze the ribs towards the hips. Shorten this distance, squeeze, as you bring it up, that will help you to keep that neutral spine position. And hold it there. So we've got both legs raised. We've got a gap between them, they're still at hip distance. And we're gonna breathe through as we hold them still. There might be quite a lot of wobble going on, little wobbles. That's all the muscles firing to hold them there. If it's too much at any point, just bring one down and focus on one and then switch to the other leg if you're working with a single leg lift here. Breathe through, think about that spine. Is it still in neutral? Has it arched up? Do you need to flatten it out, drawing that belly button in to hold it in neutral? Breathe through. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Now the lowering is really important. Keep the bend in the knee, one at a time, keep the bend in the knee and slowly lower to the floor. Once it's there, keep the bend in the other knee, engage the core, support it as we bring the other foot to the floor and then relax it out into a full body stretch. Woo. Stretch nice and long, and then relax down here. Well done, good job. So you can feel the strength of the abs, particularly the lower abs here, and again the lower back. We're building the strength here when we're using those legs, resisting the weight and holding them in that position there. Really, really good effort, well done. We're gonna do a side kick on the other side now, so you can either roll over on your mat, straight over onto the other side, or you can switch ends, whichever suits you. So take the body nice and long. Find that balance point, stack those feet, stack those knees, stack those hips. Use that top hand to hold that balance, but relax through this top shoulder. Often once that hand is down, there's tension, the neck is bunched, relax the neck, relax the shoulder. Even when we engage the waist. So once we're balanced, breath in, draw in, and then lift that waist for me, okay? You might even need to shuffle the shoulder down a little bit to lift that waist, place that grape underneath there, don't squish it. 
And then on the exhale, lift and extend that top leg. Hold it there to start with, just find that hold position. Lift and hold the waist, lift and hold the leg. Lengthen through the leg to switch on those leg muscles to hold it there. And then slowly lower just above the other foot before we lift and lengthen again. I'm just going to bring my head up so you can hear me better. Lower and lift. Gently down, gently up. So control that motion coming down, control it coming back up. Keep those grapes in one place. This time we're going to come up together and hold for five, four, three, two, one, lower and release. Draw the knees up, draw down the upper body, curl up in a little ball and relax there. Really good work. Good job, we're going to roll here onto our backs and we're going to work on our bridge. So we're going to work on our spinal mobilization now, keeping the spine mobile and flexible and the core strength at the same time. Okay, so shoulders relaxed down, arms nice and long by your side. You're going to need them as your support base. Shoulders relaxed, arms nice and straight. Feet to hip distance, feet together, toes out, heels out. Relax here. Breath in, engage. As you exhale, tilt the pelvis, curl the pelvis up towards the head. When it won't curl any further, then start to peel the vertebrae one at a time off of the mat as we push the hips up, up, up towards the ceiling. We push them up until we've got a lovely straight line between the knees, the hips and the shoulders and a gentle curl of the neck. This is our little ski slope, and we hold it there. So your challenge with the bridge is to keep those hips absolutely still in this finished position here. There might be a little bit of wobble to start with as you're building up that strength. That's okay. That's the muscles firing and learning to strengthen. Hold it there. Then when you're ready to bring it down, Breath in, engage, and think about the vertebrae, think about the spine. Imagine that there's an individual pocket for each of the vertebrae on the mat. I want you to place one at a time down into their little pocket, all the way down to that very last tailbone. As soon as the tailbone's in its pocket, we roll straight back up. It's a nice flowing move back up, tilt the pelvis first, then peel and lift. The vertebrae away one at a time. Push the hips up and hold it there. Breath in, exhale and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slowly relax through the shoulders. Really take your time to replace those vertebrae down. Then breath in, exhale and roll back up. As you bring the hips up, imagine there's a spirit level across the hips. Don't let them tilt. Don't let them tip. Don't let the stronger side lead before the other. Keep them parallel. Keep them balanced there. Breath in at the top. Exhale and roll back down. One more here if you've got the energy. Breath in, engage, roll back up. Push and lift. Enjoy that lovely stretch at the end. Breath in, engage and lower. Now 
and return. Lovely. Relax, drawing both the knees into the chest and give them a good hug and hold it there. Good job. We've got time for one more exercise today. So gently bring yourself to a seated position and I'm going to bring a new one in. We're going to have a little bit of a go with the roll up. Okay, some of you may have done it before. Some of you it might be new for. Okay, so we bring ourselves to a lovely tall seated position. Imagine that piece of string pulling the back nice and tall to hold you there. Keep the feet at hip distance, keep the gap between the knees. Place the hands directly behind the knees and just gently place them there. Don't grip too hard, okay? Relax through the arms, relax through the shoulders. So we're going to work on our roll up. So we sit up nice and tall. We take a breath in, we engage. Then we tilt the pelvis first. See how the hips tilt back first. Then we're making a lovely curly curl with the spine. We're curving the spine as we relax the shoulders, allow the chin to come down. And then just hold it here. The hands are very relaxed. They're here, but don't hang on for dear life. Breath in, engage. Rather than using the hands to pull you up, try and ask those abdominals to do the drawing in as we sit up nice and tall again. And again, breath in, engage. Pelvis first, tilt the pelvis, then curve the spine. Perhaps take it a little bit further. Hold. Breath in, engage. Relax the shoulders. Ask the core to do the work to sit you up nice and tall again. And again, breath in, engage, relax through the shoulders, relax through the neck, roll it back. Make sure those knees are staying in a straight line with the hip. They quite like to drift out to help you keep them parallel, keep them straight from the hips. Breath in, draw up, roll back up, sitting up nice and tall. Okay, so you choose how far you go back. You can choose how long you hold it for. Use the breath. Breath in, exhale, squeeze those abs, sitting up nice and tall at the end. One more here. Breath in, engage, curl back. So the little curl back, start with the lower abdominals. The further we take it back, the more of the abdominals we're going to switch on. Breath in, exhale, roll up. Sitting up nice and tall and with much relief, revolve, <laughs> relaxing forward over the knees and relax there knowing we're all done. Well done. Good job, another really good workout, well done. So we're gently going to come down onto the mat when you're ready, just to stretch it all out. So just curl down or bring a supporting arm down to come down onto the mat. Bring both of the knees into the chest and give them a good squeeze. Then when we're ready, release the knees and just for once you're allowed to stick the feet and the knees together, they can say hello to each other for a change and just place the hands directly on top of the knees here. Keeping the shins parallel with the ceiling, we're just going to do small circles of the hip round in one direction to start with. Keep it nice and small, it doesn't go any further than over the hips on either side. Draw them in and then extend a little bit further, not too far. And then circle in the opposite direction. Lovely. From here we're going to bring the feet down, then we're going to extend the legs nice and long. 
from here with the legs nice and long. Bring one of the legs, if you can, nice and straight up as far as you can. You might find you just hold it here and you might want to use the hands just to gently hold it in place. You might find you can bring it up a little bit further, but it's entirely up to you. It'll be different for everybody. Just stretch as far up as you can, lengthen the foot as far away from you as you can. Hold it there. And lower. That's too difficult, then do the same with the bent knee, okay? Just use your knowledge of your body. So if holding up and straight is too much, then add a little bend in it if you need to, okay? So just find your way, see what works for you. And release. And bring it down, good job. So we're gonna bend one of the knees now. We're gonna put the foot next to the other knee. Push it up against the other knee. We're gonna take the hands up above us to start with and extend and reach them to either side. Relax here. Then we're gonna work on that lovely cool down spine twist. So we take the knee and we gently roll it across the other leg and we take the head in the opposite direction. You get that lovely twist through the spine. And we're gonna hold that one there. Relax into it. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And roll back to center. Extend that leg nice and long, bring the other one up. Stick the foot next to the other knee, then gently roll that knee across and take the head in the opposite direction. Breath in, roll back to centre and extend the leg nice and long. Bring the arms down for a moment and make sure you're in the middle of your mat. And then we're going to go into full body stretch, reach the hands up, extend the legs nice and long. And then we're going to make a star shape, just as wide as our mat. Then we're going to take a breath in. As we breathe in, we're going to allow the spine to arch up as we reach out, as we exhale, stretch and make the star as big as you can, and then relax back down, relax the spine down, and again, inhale, exhale, stretch and reach. Inhale. Exhale, stretch and reach. And relax. Draw the feet in, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, draw the hands over the top of the body and relax them down next to you. Relax on the mat, find a nice comfortable position here. Take a moment to just close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Take a moment to feel all the muscles that we've worked, relaxing slowly down into the mat. And just take one minute to totally relax.
Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Gently bring your thoughts back into the room and when you're ready, slowly make your way onto your side. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. When you're ready, slowly make your way onto all fours. Make sure the knees and the feet are at hip distance apart before you tuck the toes under, walk the hands back and then slowly roll back up the way we came down. Gently roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen the neck, up and away. Good job. Arm circles to finish. Deep breath in to come up and out to release. In to come up and out to release. Last one here, deep breath in and out bring the hands round to the prayer give yourselves a big clap well done everybody good job really good workout well done